To configure users and roles in Axon Next, go to Users tab. A role is intended for assigning a group of users individual rights and permissions. By default, the system has one role, admin, and one user, root. Administrators have permissions to configure all components of the video management system. To create a new role, click Create Link button at the end of the system roles list. The new role is added in the system with its properties displayed on the right side. Enter a name for the role in the corresponding field. Select the PTZ control priority. There are several options for the map management control. View only. View, move and scale. And full access. You can limit access by users with that role to the following functions. Access to search in playback mode. Adding camera to layout in monitoring mode. Adding and editing presets for PTZ cameras. Alarms processing with two options. View only, and full access. Allow the operator to leave comments in playback mode. Allow export without a password protection, or restrict exporting data at all. Layouts editing. Minimizing the client to taskbar. Operating domain. Assign permissions to access via web UI, cloud service, and mobile apps. Access to view captions or titles on the video footage. Show faces. If you disable this feature, all the faces on the video footage will be masked. Access to the system log. Unlock camera context menu button. A permission to view masked video in playback mode. Configure access rights to the settings tabs and to system error messages. Access to manage the archives in your system. Configuring detection tools. Adding and configuring devices. Options Settings tab. Programming tab allows you to create and edit macro commands. Allow user to view error messages. User permission settings. Permission to access the layout tab. If you need to grant the users in this role permissions only for a certain period of time, select a time schedule from the list. Configure access to video wall management by setting permissions for each server individually. You can also set the rights for accessing devices and archives. It is possible to configure group rights for accessing all devices and archives of a particular server, or configure each of them separately with no access level. User cannot access the device at all. With live in armed mode level access, viewing live video is possible only when camera is armed. Playback mode is not available. At the live level, live video from the camera can be viewed whether armed or disarmed. Playback mode is not available. The live and archive level adds permission to playback mode. With live, archive, control level, all video surveillance functions are available. The Live Archive Control and Configure level adds control over any settings of the camera. You can also configure the microphone and PTZ access for each camera in your system. Access levels of microphone include three options. No access, when user is unable to receive any sounds from the camera. At the live audio level, camera audio can be received when live. Live audio and archive allows the user to receive the sounds in playback mode. Access levels of PTZ include two options, no access at all, and the control level when user can control the PTZ device. When the role configuring is complete you can save changes by clicking on the apply button. To create a user, click Create Link button under the selected role. Enter a name for the user created. You can add a comment for the user if necessary. 
With lock user account option, administrator can lock the selected account from logging into the system. You can also assign the user account to any existing role in your system and enter the user's email address. Use this setting to configure a connection to LDAP catalog. To set the password fill the password and confirmation fields. If you want to limit the number of connections for a user through mobile or web clients, specify a maximum number of connections. To save the user click the apply button. The user is added to the system and has the rights that are determined by user role. Configuration of role and user is now complete.